Alright, hello fellow RuneScapers, today I am bored and some friends wanted me to make a flipping guide for them so they can make money. So today we are going to try and flip a few items. First we're going to start off with Chaos Rooms. These are low priced items that can easily be flipped by anyone and they're a high commodity item, meaning lots of people buy them for PK and free to play and stuff. So, as you can see here, we're trying to buy them for 70 GP each. Now, let's try and sell them for 73 GP each. Alright, and they're starting to sell. Now, a way that you can tell if an item is being flipped or able to be flipped is you go ahead and you type in an item. So let's do a random item like the monkfish. And we would click the regular monkfish and we'd put it up about I like to put it up about twenty percent. And then we buy an item. And as you can see it sold for two hundred thirteen each. So we take that monkfish. Remember the number two thirteen, so let's put it down. And you go ahead and sell it for a mid, and it says that it's it sold for 205. So our selling price is 213, and our buying price is 205. All right, let's check on these cash rooms more. More are buying and more are selling. That means that that's pretty good to flip. So let's try monkfish really quick. So monkfish. And we're going to buy them at 205 each. Uh, you can buy 10k at a time, so let's buy 10,000 of them. And now we wait for them to buy, and we'll wait for these to sell. And then we can move on with the video a bit. So, a good way to get enough money from a flip is to buy in bulk. So, that's why I am buying 500,000 of the chaos rooms. This way I can sell them and I don't need to keep putting in offers for 25,000 at a time. So more and more of these are buying and so are, so are our monkfish. And as you can see we're not getting any GP back and that's a good sign that the item is not like dropping on you. But for every flip, it doesn't last very long, so you have to be cautious on how much of the item you're flipping. Now, I don't want to buy a ton of monkfish, so I'm just going to cancel the offer. But we did get 5,342 for 205 each, so now let's sell them for 213 each. And now we'll wait a bit. And I'm going to check on these really quick. Alright, I have 25,000 more of these. I'm going to sell these for 73 each. Now, by the way, when you flip an item, you want to make sure you're at least getting a decent amount of profit. Like with these cash rooms, I'm making 3 GP per cash room, which is 75,000 GP per flip. You really don't want to do an item where you're only making like 25k per flip unless the flip is very fast where you put an offer in to buy the item and it buys right away and then you put an offer in to sell the item and it sells right away. Otherwise I would stick to items that you make about 50,000 off. Alright, so as you can see the item is selling for 213. So you are making profit off of the item. So let's move on to maybe a medium item. So a medium item that I always like to do is um, Helm of Neotisnot. This thing just fell down. There we go. Helm of Neotisnot. Well, now we just want to do 10% off this time. And sometimes the item sells below mid, but that it, an item is still flippable if it sells below mid. So this price now is 41900 41900 and that's our selling price. All of the monkfish sold, by the way, so 
now we're going to uh, now we're going to find a selling price. I mean, a buying price for this. So we're going to try and sell it for mid, and it does not want to sell for mid. So we will. Oh, it sold for mid. All right. So that's what we're going to buy it for. We're going to buy. How much of a need is not for mid. And you can buy 100 of these at a time. So let's buy these at mid. One sold right away. A few more are selling. And let's check out on our cash rooms. Now, as you can see, they're not selling super fast, but they are selling decently. And when you're flipping more than one item at a time, you do make a pretty decent amount of cash off of this. Now, I know people are saying, oh, well, items might sell fast and might sell slow, but in different worlds they sell faster than others. That is completely wrong. When you leave the Grand Exchange, it, something happens with the offers, not sure what, but for some reason they tend to sell faster. Now, you don't have to leave, leave the Grand Exchange, you just have to leave this barrier, which is right here. This little arched gateway is a barrier. Now, when you leave it, items will buy and sell faster, which is something that I don't know if it's true or not, but it seems to be working for me sometimes. Alright, so we bought 10 Helm of Neats' Knots for me. Now I'm going to cancel the offer, and we're going to sell them for the 41,900 GP. Let's go. 41,900. And now let's try and sell these. Like I said, items, they do take a while to sell, but that's part of the flipping process. You have to have patience for the item. Now, like some people, like my friends, they don't have the patience for this, but that's okay. You don't really need patience for it. You could just put in an item and put it in to sell and then go do something else. Usually I like to cut IVs while I'm making for them. But these aren't selling yet, so let's try a different price. Let's try 41,700. 41,700. Now, you can see it's not that much profit, but it's still pretty good profit if these do sell, which they probably will, but I don't think I have the time for them to exactly sell, sell in video. So, I will probably pause the video at the end and then wait until they sell. So now let's move on to a higher priced item which would be Dragon Boots. These are high level items that you might want to buy for let's say 250k each because right now these are dropping. So let's try and buy for 250k each. One of the Dragon Boots rules are that they go up and down like every two days so don't try and flip them massively because you might get screwed and end up with a bunch of junk but they will be going up eventually and these home of needs is not are not buying so let's try and sell them for 200 gp above it so 41 5 4 5 and these items like the Helm of Nietzsche's not are kind of high commodity items too. They they are used very often in PvP in that for killing out things. And people really don't care if they lose them that much because they're cheap and they can buy them back pretty fast. So that's pretty much the whole entire merch flipping guide. You really don't need an a lot of money to flip. People say that a decent amount of cash to flip is about 10 mil. I wouldn't argue with that, but if you only have like 1 mil, like you can do chaos rooms. Chaos rooms, you can buy 25,000 of them for less than 2 mil. And how much needs is not, uh, 100 of them is about 4 million something. So when you start to get in the higher cash amounts you can start buying more and more of an item and another tip for when you're flipping if say the limit is 100 per flip like you can buy 100 and then you have to sell 100 in the grand exchange in order to buy another 100 
before the four hour limit. So you can have your friends buy 100 of the items. So let's say you bought 100 and your friend bought 100. That means that you have 200. Now you can sell the 200, but then you can buy 200 back instantly, which makes the flip go a lot faster and you make more money per hour. Uh, the maximum amount of money that I've made per hour was off of how many it's is nuts. That was about 12 mil in one hour. It doesn't seem like a lot if you're merging, but trust me, to some people, 12 mil an hour is like out of this world. They would kill for it. So, I hope this guide has helped you a little bit. But I want to show you a small clip, which this is what happens when you get really good at flipping and get in the mood of it and you don't get bored by it. So, here you go. Here's a clip. And eventually, after being a flipping pro, you will end up with a bank like this. Elysians, Divines, Party Hats, and lots of cash. And that is the advantage of flipping items.